today's topic is distribution snakes in the western ghats by dr ashok kumar malik dr ashok kumar malik finished his doctoral degree in the year 2018 at center for ecological sciences from indian institute of science bangalore his doctoral research consisted of uh, systematics and comparative biogeography of wine snakes and pit vipers in peninsular india he is currently working as lecturer at the department of higher education in odisha and he is member of iucn viper specialist group for south asia and section editor for asian journal of conservation biology he has taken part in several awareness and pro awareness programs educating common man about uh, urban wildlife and local biodiversity conservation and he is also part of many wildlife rescue operation and snake bite mitigation programs in urban landscape It is an immense pleasure to welcome uh, Dr. Ashok Kumar Malik for today's uh, webinar topic. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dipti. Um, welcome and welcome all, and uh, good evening. Uh, this is my topic, which is a uh, dis uh, distribution of ecology and evolution of snakes in the Western Ghats. So this is the topic where uh, mostly uh, I I would like to say. Uh, Uh, that this topic is basically I designed uh, for the students who are like school kids or maybe uh, 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 just undergraduates or something like that. So uh, therefore, I I request all the professionals, so those who are working in the biography or maybe the taxonomy, they should question me later or in an email or other place. So uh, so I'm starting right now from here. Uh, So mostly I worked uh, for several years on snakes in the Western Ghats in, in Peninsular India. So most of the time I would like to uh, say that most of the time I was like uh, roaming around, seeing different species, different color, different morph, and everything. So it gave me some opportunity when I joined for PhD. I started working on the group. So uh, I I wanted to find the uh, different regions behind everything. so one is the distribution uh, why all the species are distributed like that like uh, in all over india some species are uh, distributed in the western ghats and some species are distributed in the central india and some species are distributed in the north east india and himalayan regions so most of the species diversity is high uh, like uh, uh, in the two different region in the western ghats and north east india while other other places it is very less so That is first uh, question. It came to the distribution. Why they are distributed like that? Why there are less species in the center of India and more species in the two different regions? Uh, well, uh, coming to ecology and evolution, I also studied how they migrate from uh, one place to another, another place. Means the, how they colonize. Why they look similar and why they belong to same uh, group like genus or they are they are why they are from the I like they are same uh, sister species. They belong to the same uh, genus, so that is one one of the question. And I just try to look at their ecology, why they are having different uh, places, like different habitat. So all the species are found uh, in different different habitat. Everywhere there should be one or two species who can uh, can be found in everywhere in the uh, peninsula of India, in India or in different parts. Uh, but some species are restricted to small places. Next slide. Uh, so. In in this uh, talk, uh, the contents are basically the introduction. I will just introduce about the snakes in the Western Ghats, as well as within the Peninsular India. So, when Western Ghats is small part of uh, Peninsular India, uh, so it has, uh, but it is not everywhere. Species are distributed uh, uniformly. Only some species are there, highly concentrated. Number of species present in the Western Ghats section, mostly the Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, all the places. Um, Also, I will a little bit talk about the endemicity and the distribution. How species are distributed, distributed and endemicity. So, what is endemicity? What is endemicity? So, basically, endemicity is something like called. It is simply called as endemic. Endemic means one species is restricted to a small area, small distribution. Area. It is not distributed everywhere in the world, or it is not distributed even everywhere in the uh, India. So, they are restricted to a small region, not even Kerala. Not even in one district. Some species they uh, they don't jump a large area like they have a small distribution range. They are the species. For, they are the species known as the endemic species. Uh, uh, next slide. Next slide. Something is wrong. For uh, us, something is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we are just uh, sharing. One second. One second. Yeah. Yeah. Mm 
এটা আপনি ওয়ান সেকেন্ড ওয়ান সেকেন্ড দেয়ার ইজ স্মল ইস্যু ইয়া Did you figure out what is happening? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, second. sir. She has, to, she has to share this. Okay. Sorry, my net was the problem. Okay. Is it fine? Yeah, it, Are you able to see? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we can see. Uh, you can uh, provide the full screen. Yeah. So, uh, so last part is uh, ecology and evolution. So, I'll just talk about a little bit about the ecology and evolution. Most of them are uh, first studied well, not explored well. Those are unexplored. Uh, many questions remain uh, to be explored there in the place. Next slide. Uh, next. So, uh, let me give you some introduction about the Indian map and some terrains and all the places. Uh, this is the basic uh, thing which you're going to follow throughout the slide. So basically, we have uh, different hill ranges in India. So in, uh, basically, when we call as peninsular India, in this topic, when we are talking about the peninsular India, if you see the Bindya Satpura hill ranges, it, it, is, it is on the center of the central India. So those are the hill ranges. From there, towards the south, are known as total, total area is known as uh, peninsular India. So peninsular India has two hill ranges. Or one is the eastern parts and one is the western parts. most of the time the eastern ghats is very uh, long but it is discontinuous it is not con connected and uh, the habitat also different it is not uh, that much of a variable habitat it is less bit less habitat uh, the habitat is not variable not and I, uh, all the uh, uh, like all the uh, trees and all the climatic variation are not there much but in the western ghats it is like uh, continuous uh, hill ranges it is almost uh, is uh, like it is it is found in the west coast of india and uh, so it is uh, the length is almost like uh, 1600 km from the gujarat to uh, tamil nadu so it covers almost uh, four five states almost uh, in the west, west side of india so this region is uh, mostly highly diversified and means uh, uh, lots of species found in this region rather than central india or in the eastern pacific so but there are more species also found in the northeast region but in the right side of your map which is uh, assam mizoram manipur all the places on natural borders himalayan region all the portions of himalaya there also you get lots of other species okay so next slide so when you look at the snake diversity you will get lots of species so what is a species so if, uh, for, for the youngsters the species are something like uh, they can hybridize they can change the exchange the genetic information between them so this is a population where genetic information exchange can be happened they can interbreed so and this is the taxonomic unit basically a taxonomic unit in the species so when you look at the chimpanzee and the human we are different species from each other but we are sister species basically so we share lots of common character between uh, like the hand and leg behavior and everything social behavior so we share lots of morphological character and so so that is that is called a species okay so if you look at the snake diversity in india you will get lots of species in india so there are almost 300 uh, plus species so i recently i described some five species six species recently i described uh, with the new science if you include like species uh, and it is 310 or 15 plus species are there so there are more species coming in future because lots of unknown diversity is on discovered so within the species we classify them as uh, three different uh, group like major groups so one group is called the uh, uh, one group is called like uh, genus so lots of species put under a single and many genus are put under a single family 
so there are there is a family which is a large group where lots of genus are there and the species uh, and the genus where lots of species are there and within the genus species to species are known as sister species they are very close to each other you cannot also differentiate sister species easily they are separate right one or two morphological characters means some color or maybe some uh, shape of some scale or the number present of number of uh, scales in the body they can be separated from species to species okay next slide please so where do you get all this uh, number of species so the, there are 320 species in india but most of the species they are uh, distributed and concentrated in three regions in india okay one is uh, himalayan region in the uh, north india mostly okay where most of the species are found and one is the northeast india assam mizoram manipur meghalaya all the places and one is the western part so these are called these three places are called the hot spots so why it is a hot called hot spots because there are number of species are present the species density number of species density is present number of individuals are present so the richness basically is the areas are rich with number of species so this this areas are called these areas are called the hot spots so most of the species are concentrated in the concentrated in the western ghats okay so we'll talk about the western ghats uh, next slide please uh when you look at the western ghat i showed about the the map uh, uh look at the map below left side bottom map uh, uh, bottom map uh, left side corner so the western ghat region you can see so this is the region and these are the photographs from the different section where when i visited to different places uh, you can see variable uh, uh, forest type variable region cloud forest and everything so most of the top of the forest are always cloudy and humid inside and it is dominant with the rain uh, rain forest habitat and everything and it is always wet it is uh, uh, it is always uh, hot and uh, hot and humid inside so it provides lots of opportunity to species uh, speciate means this species formation happens in this region since already it is in the process already species formed but still it is going on many species are going to form maybe in the uh, future uh, probably there will be lots of species some may extinct some may go go vanish some may new species may appear so this is the place where lots of species species not only in this region there are like 35 hotspots in the world so one of these one of those hotspots is uh, western ghat western ghat basically next slide please uh so when you look looking at the diversity uh, snake diversity in the western ghat uh, you have lots of species and uh, basically present in the western ghat and with the endemism endemism i told about that uh, they are restricted to the western ghat only so these species are like uh, they are mostly we look at uh, assigned within the eight uh, families Uh, there may be new families there then who, who knows there are only small species present in this region so there may be new species of snakes present in this region so if you look at uh, the list of species present in the left side here one is called the shield tail snake possibly they belong to the european snake family and one is colubrid colubrid has lots of snakes lots of endemic species are there present in everywhere and then in colubrid there are vine snakes cat snakes bronze bats many many other snakes are present similarly you have elapid elapids are mostly you have great coral snakes and you have king cobra also coming under the elapid and so you have uh, common cobras uh, spectacular cobra and um, all the cobras are coming under that and so there are uh, so coral snake is one of the uh, one of the endemic species to the western ghats many many species are present in the west and when you come to the kill bats there are kill bats which are they do have a kill the, the species are present in the mostly in the western ghats few of them are endemic they are just present in the western ghats they are not everywhere else there are other species of kill bats in the other part of south east asia uh, in north east india and all the parts of south east asia which includes thailand myanmar south china philippines and the borneo and the, all the places okay uh and also there are vipers we have like three four different uh, species of vipers there uh like we have uh, all the trimeres of, of pit vipers and all the uh, kind of hopeless uh, uh, pit vipers and all that there okay. also there are there is a group called wood snake uh 
only three species are present in the western ghats and also there are some uh, boas are present which are endemic to the western ghats also lots of blind snakes many of them are on explore uh, those are new sites because they are very small and they are found boring snakes mostly so blind snake and the european red snakes are mostly boring snakes uh, this is the number of uh, families present in the uh, in western ghats but there are more families present in all all over india okay next slide so why why it is interesting because uh, why there are lots of species present in both the one in one region but they are not present in central india in the or maybe rajasthan or maybe gujarat or maybe the madhya pradesh there are not there are less species but only species are concentrated in the western part so it is like a peculiar distribution why they are distributed peculiarly not found everywhere but they are found in small uh, small areas so when you do this thing uh, to understand and study about the uh, distribution of species that is called biogeography how they are uh, distributed in both the region okay so most of the time what uh, people predicted that the hypothesis there are like few old hypotheses i mean questions basically whether uh, the, whether the species similarly happens between uh, uh, thailand myanmar and the western ghats are because of the uh, species colonized to this region yes possibly we nobody explored that so possibly they colonized and they they started specifying in western ghats so so next slide please so this is the one of the hypothesis so which is called the horas hypothesis where most of the people predict that uh, uh, when, when uh, there is a single landmass uh, in the 250 million years back in permian time uh, this is a time scale geographical time scale if you look at the map Uh, top left one uh, uh, that is called pangea so pangea there is a single landmass of 250 million years back then when 90 million years back the indian landmass which traveled which drifted to the sea and it collided with the eurasia around uh, 35 uh, million years back so what happened when india was rafting it was isolated it was, it was just like island like australia or sri lanka it was rafting alone so it allowed 60 million years almost uh, to predict that the species should uh, uh, speciate so so there are lots of species formed actually those who came from africa and they are going going to collide with eurasia laurasia that is the part today called as europe so asia actually asia so eurasia and asia uh, that part so uh, after the collision this uh, himalayan region form after the collision you have uh, lots of species uh, migrated from here to there uh, both from different sites like uh, ethiopian site palatic site malayan site palatic region is mostly the tibet region ethiopia means africa and iran and all the places uh, those are the ethiopian region so species started uh, colonizing to the with inside india also uh, so whatever species uh, india got they colonized to the other part of the world but uh, this formation of uh, next slide please for the formation of this uh, himalayan region which is fold and formation of desert in the thor region uh, species migration this colonization stopped for a long time so there is only one gateway where from where the species can my uh, colonize to the region or the part even today also species can colonize so that is the mal from malayan region to india so this is one of the hypothesis which was proposed very very long back like what? 1950 51 something like that so nobody uh, uh, try to find out what is actually happening uh, next slide so some facts uh, some facts which are remained of unexplored like how many species are present in the west uh, part we don't know how many species are because everywhere we keep uh, uh, keep uh, uh, discovering new species i recently discovered five new species Uh, of vines that from the western ghats another recently one species discovered from the western ghats that is uh, some uh, uh, shield tail snake so new species are coming up every year also uh, people ask why the endemism and uh, how, why endemism and how the endemism occur why only species this species are restricted to the western ghats they are not restricted to the other part of the world okay so, not restricted to the other part of the world but they are restricted to this region so this is one of the question and so there are questions like oh, people ask like uh, uh, whether western ghats played any role in the species diversification or in situ radiation something like that okay so uh, 
so what happens basically when the species uh, species formed in the western ghat and they uh, colonized back to the low land like uh, peninsula central india or towards the other part of the world from india to other part of the part, part of the world so that is another question so it, this question is still going on people are working on frogs different species uh, lots of people are working different different group so i am working on snakes uh, mostly here uh, for mostly india and a few other people are also working on snakes okay so uh, next slide please uh, next slide so this is the reason i selected some of the group uh, to study uh, throughout my life uh, probably and for phd i worked on different different group and one of the group is for the white snakes uh, they are widely distributed throughout um, throughout india throughout southeast asia uh, till the uh, till the myanmar uh, thailand borneo java sumatra philippines uh, all the places so they are widely distributed in everywhere in the southeast asia so this this species earlier it has like 10 species uh, together uh, and in peninsular india mostly we have five species we mostly have uh, they are the arboreal snakes uh, they climb on trees some of them are terrestrial and predominantly they are found in the grasslands and they are the small and stout next picture i'll show you uh, they are small and stout in size but uh, they are they are mostly known as the vine snakes because their body is look like vine uh, uh, just like a climber next next slide please so what happens uh, if you uh, look at the uh, picture here two snakes these are the endemic snakes they are only restricted to a small distribution range in the uh, western ghats so they are uh, because the western ghats there is a gap it is not a continuous uh, hill range where there is a gap is called as palghat gap and this gap uh, separates these two species to be different species and that is what evolution happened because of the because of the formation of gap this formation of new species happened from a single ancestor so the ancestor gave rise to two different species but ancestor is not there it is probably uh, uh, extinct or it is got just vanished totally completely from the evolution so so these are the two species which are present in the uh, north of the west coast map north of the south coast map and south of the south south coast so i can show you the uh, arrow the aperotrophy that the atula aperotrophy what is snake which is uh, predominantly found in the grasslands in the uh, northern western ghats in uti and all the places mukurti and all the places uh, in a high altitude mostly around uh, i have mostly collected uh, uh, around um, uh, 2000 meter altitude from sea level so it is very cold in night and day time it is very hot in grasslands uh, and uh, the snakes are mostly dominant in the grassland areas uh, while there are snakes which are uh, there is another sister species which is present in the southern western ghats rana balai hill ranges uh, erbiculum and all the places so this uh, species is also a grassland species they they share the similar type of habit, uh, habitat and all but they are separated and their morphology is separate their color is also separate also their size is separate and this is the size morphology color shape habitat sharing everything is shaped by the evolution so it is and it happened because of the, they are separate from each other they they could not exchange their, their genetics and they have evolved as a separate species in this two region okay so there are lots of species present like that in other from other genus like other from the cat snakes from the uh, uh, viper speed vipers and, and and many other group like um uh, seal tails and all many other group are there. so species are present like this region because these are all ecologically uh, sensible areas and very very high altitude areas and protected areas mostly okay and uh, this this map uh, i was just showing the where is uh, actually oriental region is uh, visible in a small map you can see sino japanese rel so th that is the mostly oriental region where these species are distributed okay next slide please uh next slide so this species this atula cyrenaensis this is about uh, brown vine snake which we recently described from the uh, our our discovery so this species was supposed to be uh, from the sri lanka people are thinking that this space, only one species is present which is present in india and sri lanka but we found that between india and sri lanka there is a gap you have you can see the geographic gap also as well as they have a morphological gap 
because uh, this gap means they are separated by morphology the number of uh, scales everything morphological characters are separated by gap and that gap this geographic uh, gap also there as well as there is a genetic gap so this is one of the species present in the western ghats which is also endemic to the only western ghats most of the wet habitats in so evergreen forest and everything and it is very you cannot see this snake easily in the field it's very very it looks like a branch uh, twig or something like that it's difficult to find a snake in the field so mo most of the time uh, th when this this basically this individual photograph which i have taken uh, for this individual when i was in kudrimuk uh, uh, my field assistant told me that there is a snake but i could not see that snake because it's so camouflaging to the surrounding i could not see that this snake next slide please Uh, so this is one of my part of my research work uh, where I have found that uh, there is there is an ancient lineage present in the Western Ghats within the vine snakes. Okay, so we found that this this lineage basically we named it as Pro Arthula. That means it is older than Arthula. Arthula means vine snakes mostly. All of the genus genus Arthula that is all vine snakes. So we found that this this vine snake is uh, sister to uh, all the Arthulas present present there. Uh, so this is uh, we found that this species is almost six, uh, 26 million years old, and uh, uh, 26 million years old means it is diverse from all the Arthulas. Means they, it becomes sister to all the Arthulas present in Western Ghats, as well as present in the Oriental region. Means everywhere uh, those Arthula vine snakes which are present, uh, which are present in the Southeast Asia, like Thailand, Myanmar, more. More, and all the places like uh, uh, Java, Sumatra, Philippines, and Borneo, they are all, they all, including Western Ghats Arthulas, are sister to the only one species which is present in the Western Ghats. So this is one of the ancient lineage. Why we call it ancient lineage? Because just after the docking of Indian landmass to the Eurasia, this species, uh, species on happened. You can see the time scale which is showing you the 26 million years almost. Next slide, please. Uh, so basically, uh, give all the bullet uh, points. Uh, no problem. Uh, next, next, next. Uh, so mo most of the time, what what we do that uh, when uh, when we work in field, we cannot identify spaces for the future work. How to identify them? Right? All. So we use lots of uh, different criteria to separate all, all the spaces. Uh, Bharat, please. Uh, next, uh, next slide, please. Bharat, uh, go on, go on. I, I want all the bullet points. That's all. That's all. So what happens? Uh, uh, we do lots of phylogenetic work and uh, through using DNA. So from the DNA, we separate the species how they how they are different. Also, we do the different analysis uh, to carry out. Uh, there are some species uh, algorithm. Algorithms are present there, so people can predict the species uh, from the algorithm where we use the genetic data itself. Also, we use the morphology and geography, and sometimes we use the molecular dating to separate the species. How how old they are? Just like earlier slide where I told about the 26 million years, that is the molecular dating which uh, predicted the time period for those snakes. So we found uh, lots of species in the vine snakes. Uh, 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 so basically, if you look at the bars present there, those bars in the right gray bar near the snake, those are all different species of uh, of Arthula species present in the uh, Western Ghats mostly. Western Ghats and some of them are uh, within the uh, within the Western Ghats, but uh, they are present in the Southeast Asian region. Okay, next slide, please. Next slide. So this is a. Uh, one of the biogeographic study I am uh, I have done uh, for to understand uh, what, whether these species are the colonized from Malayan region to the uh, this region basically for, to the western parts uh, whether they are colonized from Malayan region to the peninsula area to understand that I did some analysis where this analysis uh, says that uh, basically it says it predicts the uh, colonization route uh, it it will give you the colonization how the species formed how two different species formed and how they are separated from each other. So uh, so basically it says uh, uh, through this analysis, what we understand that 
where the space is dispersed from one place to another place. Means, um, suppose India to Sri Lanka, it, it dispersed. It it is some uh, the, uh, some uh, uh, log branch or something. It is a uh, floating. Uh, drop, drifting towards the Sri Lanka and it reached in Sri Lanka and become the different species. It stayed there for a long time, million of years, and become the different different species, species to several species. Well, uh, there are like uh, other hypotheses are there so where we say that species are continuously distributed, like one species continuously distributed everywhere, but uh, some earthquake or formation of land was just like Himalaya formation. Um, so two sp one this population got separated and they become different species basically so that is the reason that is that the reason is showing you the biogeography what is biogeography so how the biology is shaped by the geographical impact okay so this is the, that that is the way the species formation happens most of the time because there is isolation works and there is no genetic between the species so in biosynthesis what we found that uh, most of the species are uh, originated uh, like uh, the originated in, uh, in the western Ghat during the late oligocene at, at the Miocene. those who are in bse or something or msc they can understand these things because this is a time scale geographical time scales which uh, people uh, we study in zoology and all the uh, life science studies okay and also we found that uh, uh, there is a small western Ghat uh, in situ radiation in species uh, formation happened this radiation means uh, from a single species to multiple species Species now from species A to B and C, C to D, E, just like that, doubling of species. So it formed like it takes lots of time. It's not a uh, like five, six years or maybe not like 100 years, 200 or 500, 1000 years back. It takes lots of time, like million years, almost five million, three million, two million years back, like that. There's a minimum time scale for others on these species. Okay, so it take uh, it, it takes lots of time to form the species. So this in situ radiation happened. So what happened? The one single ancestor probably uh, came to the Western Ghats from colonized from Southeast Asia, uh, from those areas, and it uh, got diverse there. It, it diverse sequence process happened, and it become number of species there. So that's why we have now we have now how many species? Like uh, we have now. Uh, Seven, eight, or nine species are present in the Western Ghats right now, and also it is called calling as the bat dispersal. What happens basically from the Western Ghats, the species form. When you can see the red circles uh, in the species uh, in the in the map in the left side of the tree, where red circles are there, uh, those are the species which actually formed in the Western Ghats. Uh, they speciate in the Western Ghats, but they colonize to the Southeast Asian region to the Vijara, Manipur, and all the places, Indochina region, all the places, they disperse back. So they are the species, some of the species they which they disperse back, including one of the species from Central India recently discovered, that is called Laudonke, which is not present in this tree. Uh, so so Laudonke also, which evolved in the central, uh, in the western parts, which uh, later on it uh, dispersed to the South, Southeast Asia and, and Central Indian part, mostly. Mostly it is not, not in Southeast Asia, but Probably it is present in Bangladesh and all the places still Myanmar or something. They, those people, those who are working on this, they probably find properly species present there. Uh, so next slide, please. So uh, this is one of the group I'm working, uh, uh, but uh, I don't have, I'm not showing you the result here basically. Uh, so this is a this is a diversified group which is present in the western part. Uh, so there are this. Uh, this including recent discoveries and everything, there are almost seven species present in the Western Ghats. Uh, and out of uh, 16 or 17 species from India, and there are almost uh, 35 species, 32 species present in all over the world. All over the world means in the, mostly in the Oriental region, the Southeast region, including India and Western Ghats. So Western Ghats, one of the hot spots where species in situ species, species will happen for the cat eyed snakes. So these snakes are mostly arboreal. Uh, they are like uh, 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 non-venomous snakes. They are mildly venomous. They are known as rare fun snakes. Uh, these vine snakes and these cat snakes, cat eye snakes are called a rare fun snakes. And they they have a venom. They have some level of venom which can kill small animals like rodents, rats, and all mice and maybe lizards or maybe frogs. But uh, they cannot harm as much. That's why they are called uh, non-venomous snakes. But technically, they are venomous snakes. The rear snakes are mostly venomous snakes. Uh, 
uh, their poison is not that much of uh, uh, affecting us. It's, it cannot uh, uh, do much activity in your body. Okay, so next slide, please. So th this is one of the snake uh, called bronze bat snakes uh, present in the Western Ghats. There are lots of species in the Western Ghats, uh, like endemic species. And now uh, there is a single species which is present everywhere in the uh, central India and in Odisha and all the places in Eastern Ghats and all the places. And that is called a uh, very common uh, bronze bat snake. It's a very, very, yeah. But Western Ghats mm -hmm. has lots of uh, bronze bat snakes, uh, which are also very interesting. Some Someday people will come and study. I'm also studying right now. I have not done that much work, but I'm doing slowly to understand this group. Uh, next, next please. Next slide, please. So this is one of the group uh, called wolf snakes uh, present in the Western Ghats also. Present everywhere in India. There are lots of places present in Southeast Asia, uh, like uh, all the places, uh, Thailand, Myanmar, and all the places. And uh, in Northeast India also, Assam, Mizoram, Manipur, or Nasa, there are lots of species present. Also in Central India, there are one, two species present. And recently we des des described one new species that is in your right side, that is called the Lycodon uh, decanensis, which is a, a decan Lycodon, which is found in the Central India of Karnataka. And one species which is present in the left, that is called the uh, Lycodon travancarica. Uh, this species also present in the South in, in the South India, and it is endemic to the Western Ghats and some parts of South 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 India. Uh, next slide. So another group of snakes, uh, those are called the killbacks. They are also present, lots of species present in Northeast India and all the places, uh, all the Myanmar, Mizoram, Manipur, on all the places, Thailand, South, uh, what is that, uh, South China and all the places including all the South Oriental region. So very few species are present in Central India, uh, like only one species present in Central India and all the Eastern Ghats are, that is the uh, wolf stripe killback. That is the most common snake you see in the rainy season. Uh, that with uh, two lines, I have not, I, I, I should have provided a picture here, but I forgot to provide that. But that is a widely distributed species and overlapping, uh, Overlap the distribution zone regions of these two endemic species found in the Western Ghats. So these two um, um, endemic species, which are heaviest, and uh, recently they separated these species on the basis of uh, different uh, group uh, and the, from the, uh, with the, with the genetic data with the help of genetic data. So they said that there are two different uh, genus are present in this group. So they are now different species. So we have two endemic species of heaviest, which are killbacks present in Western Ghats. So basically what we say that, uh, um, why it is these, are, these snakes are called killbacks? Because they have a kill in their scale. So every scale, there is a kill, like small kill, ridge of uh, marking. That is called a uh, killback, that's a kill. So this, you can see that uh, scale picture in the left side, that is actually not a not a killback scale. That is a viper scale, basically. So I don't have a high resolution picture, so I put that there. So. There are so uh, there are one more, uh, there are like three species of uh, killbacks. Uh, uh, basically, they belong to heaviest and Ampejpa genus. They are present here, including Genocropis and uh, many species, other species, Folia and all the species are present there. There is a green uh, uh, green killback, olive killback, lots of other species which are also having patchy distribution. They are not distributed continuously everywhere. They are distributed only in a small region. Okay. The next slide. So coming to pit vipers, so this is one of the group also I'm studying and I studied for a long time. Uh, so there are like 45 species, more than 45 species present in Oriental tropics and Sino Japanese realm. Means it is present everywhere in uh, South China and all the places, including all the Borneo and all the places, including our Western Ghats and the Himalayan region also. So one species is present everywhere in the Himalaya, and some species are present in Northeast India. There are more species in, North, in Northeast India, basically in Arunachal, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Manipur, there are more species there. And in Western Ghats, we have like uh, uh, four species, something like that, there in the Western Ghats region. So uh, in, in particularly in South India. So 
uh, also there is a one species present in sri lanka so the i i found them very interesting because they are variable in color they are uh, they are co- color in everywhere they are in basically within a species you look at the individuals they vary from location to location including their size their color their everything so it always at- attracted me to what is going behind them why they are di- they are di- same population but what is happening within them uh, so i I, I i was interested in this group and i started working on this group so next slide please so in this group uh, this pit basically they are called the pit vipers because they have a pit near the, their nose you can see the pit in the uh, all the snakes in the before the eye there is a small pit uh, so basically they use the pit to understand the temperature and the chem- chemical sensitivity from the area they smell the chemical they smell the temperature they can sense the temperature uh, mostly uh, and uh, the, what happens there are like four endemic species which are present in, in the western ghats section basically so there is a pit viper is called macrolepis uh, which is present in the southern western ghats just like uh, atula dispar this species pine snake i told about just like that it is also present in the southern western ghats and there is a species called uh, triamsos trigatus in the right side uh, below uh, there is a black color snake so this snake is uh, present in the northern side of the palgat gap so before the palgat gap so it is present mostly in the uti and all the regions so this species is grassland uh, species mostly found in grassland and with the woody forest and everything so it's a combination of woody forest and low temperature in night high temperature in day time in like that habitat and uh, nothing much is uh, it's not about this species because uh, very few people worked on this and this species is very uh, completely restricted to small area and all of them are venomous but no, i don't think anybody got bitten by this snake because i don't think anybody will get bitten by this snake because this snake is so much isolated and restricted in small range people uh, normally you know, normal people never venture to those areas basically uh, mo- people like us like researchers most like forest guards uh, wood cutters they only venture to those areas otherwise nobody goes to those areas and so when you look at the this large scale pit viper this trimersus macrolepis the green one so it has it is very unique snake uh, it is very unique snake it has like large scales in on the body and uh, it is very mildly venomous when many people got bitten in the tea gardens it it stays on the tree branches and everywhere so it it is it is not that much a problem in those areas uh, so somebody is talking can you please uh, switch up the mic can you please switch up the mic uh, so there are like species present in the trimersus malabaricus which is distributed all over the western ghats uh um, almost everywhere from uh, from the northern maharashtra to the tamil nadu it's continuously distributed in every this is called malabar pit viper uh, it it is uh, it has almost seven morphological uh, characters i, I we, ha- we have seen means color color morphs so basically they are variable in different region there is red color species there is a brown color species there is orange color species there is black colors dark color blue color green color Uh, many different color variations are there in this group so this is, it it was very interesting to understand why this color variation was there so also i was interested and i looked at this species I, i'll come to the next after i'll tell about the, what happened and another group is called the bamboo pit viper that is called trimersus graminius t graminius graminius which is uh, present in uh, most of the places in uh, peninsular india as well as in the western ghats but uh, what happens uh, this western ghat species and the population and the other population they do they look different little bit in color and variation so i included all the species uh, to understand how, what is happening to their biology uh, why they are distributed like that why they are restricted to a small places next slide please next slide so this is the biographic uh, uh analysis i this is lots of thing within a one slide so i i don't want to explain everything uh, so basically what i found that uh, um, i just wanted to know the where is where is the common ancestor for all the pit vipers 
so the common ancestor means from the from the space from the ancestor from where all the species are diverged they become speciate and they become di- different species so basically the sundaland in the peninsular india those areas are called the uh, uh, ancestral areas from where the species actually uh, originated sundaland is uh, non- no, sundaland is normally java sumatra indonesia this part is called sundaland including including our andaman and nicobar which is this area uh, those areas belong to the sundaland areas so these species are by, they have a common ancestor in two different places they originated in two different places so peninsular india it is western ghats so they are originated in western ghats the, the black box below is the map if you look at the map with the black box that dotted dust line black, black box that is the peninsular india western ghat radiation where it says that all the pit vipers they uh, speciate they become double the number of species become double in this area basically in the western ghats so this is the region also uh, there there is a in situ radiation means species uh, radiate means formation happen in the peninsular indian part particularly in the western ghats so diversification also happened in the western ghats so they diversified they become different color and all the uh, they become size shape and everything everything changed for them okay so there is a independent radiation which is also happened in asia means in the other part of the uh, like means in, the, in south asia it's basically and other, another independent radiation which happened in the uh, in the south east asia which is red box you can see top red box so all the species they, independently two different branches of pit vipers they independently evolved so we have now we can say western ghat has role for the independent uh, uh, in situ radiation where species diversification happened actually so there are species like uh, uh, next next slide please uh, so there are species like uh, by, uh, other vipers uh, like hump nose pit vipers which is found only in uh, india and sri lanka so there are three species which are present in india and sri lanka uh, they are sister species mostly you can see the tree there is a small tree branch i have provided uh, it is called hypnali Uh, hypnali nepa hypnali 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 jara so basically hypnali hypnali it belongs to india so nepa and jara they belong to sri lanka so they all are sister species basically so they belong to the genetically this branch showing for the youngsters i can say this branch is showing the genetic distance between them and how they are sisters so this hypnali and jara hypnali hypnali jara hypnali hypnali and hypnali jara are two close sister species basically so they all uh, are found in the uh, western ghats itself so hompnos pit viper is uh, mostly distributed in the western ghats in the low lands low land western ghats means uh, mostly found in the leaf litters and a little bit uh, low lands it is not going to the just in unlike other snakes it is not uh, distributed everywhere in the top of the hill or everywhere so it is found in the low places low low land areas and uh, most of the time they hide under the leaf litter their color is also very similar to leaf litter it is very difficult to see them uh, until you disturb them or something you cannot see them so this three species which two which of uh, out of which uh, these two are present in the sri lanka and one present in the western ghats and that is because uh, they got separated because the because of the geography okay so now we have one species which is also called the uh, malayan ground pit viper which is almost similar in morphology with our group but it belong to different genera on the basis of some morphological character so they put it in different genera but they all are sister species they look similar they have a hump nose and everything okay so this is uh, and the further understanding of this group is will be very interesting nobody worked on this group and probably in future i'll work or some people will be work on this group next slide please so uh, there are coral snakes uh, which are also present in the uh, southeast asia and india but in india they are present in northeast indian section as well as the western part so these species are very uh, re- uh they are mostly mostly rarely seen in the western ghats i have seen very few times of them so they are venomous uh, group of snakes and there are like four or five species are present right now in the western ghats section 
and it is it will be very interesting to understand their uh, their biology and how they speciate there or what is happening with this group of snakes somebody should work in the future and there are lots of species present in the uh, southeast asia section uh, mostly thailand myanmar and all the places there are lots of species but we have very few species which is a western guards uh, redis what particularly they evolve in western guards uh, from the sister species which are which probably colonized from the southeast asia to the uh, western guards next slide please so this is one of the domain uh, group of snakes like uh, they are called the wood snakes uh, mostly found in the western guards uh, there are only three species uh, present in the western guards and very very rare species they are very very rare species they, they are endemic to the western guards you will not ever get the uh, this species in any, any, anywhere in the world there are other sister groups uh, which are present in south east asia and other places but not in the western guards next slide so this is one of the group uh, some of my colleagues are working uh, this snake is called the europe painted snake so uh, and so they are called a shield tail snake so these snakes are normally called shield tail snakes because they have a shield in their tail the left side picture if you look at the uh, the tail there is a shield it is covered the tail is not tapering it is not like lend tapering and it is not like lengthy or something like that it ends there there is a shield and uh, people uh, consider that the shield tail snake they probably use uh, the tail to uh, borrow to uh, do the boring uh, activity and everything so basically they are boring snakes they most of the most of the snakes they are like uh, probably they are uh, semi i think uh, 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 semi blind you can say that uh, uh, what, what the eyes are vestigial particular they cannot uh, see properly properly they are going back or maybe they are going back in a evolution or something so one of my colleague worked on this group of snakes and uh, as per his uh, research it says that uh, this group of snakes are not evolving they are going against the evolution means they are going back they are they become the boring snake they are going to lose their eyes or maybe they become uh, photosensitive or maybe they, they lose the color or maybe something they become the boring snake they want to survive on the ground so there are like uh, many species are there uh, in sri lanka and india uh, like uh, many many species are there uh, basically and these species are not present everywhere in india uh, many species are present in the western ghats many many species are present recently uh, recently i told about recently someone found a discovered a new species that is one of them uh, the silt tails and they are everywhere uh, in the western ghats but uh, also present one or two species are present in the central india and eastern ghats and so Uh, I, i don't have much of the information i'll provide you information if you like to uh, there are other colleagues who are working on this group of snakes i am also interested i uh, on, on this group of snakes to understand different uh, biology aspect of different uh, basic science and everything next slide please so basically this this is this slide is basically a little bit complicated but i would like to uh, um let let it know what happens in uh, uh, in diversification process so basically in the species diversification process what happen the lineages form lineages lineages means species so new species form each step uh, if you look at the uh, slides in the top slide at uh, top uh, plots you can see it looks like a steps so each steps means one species that is one species form and this graph is showing that million of each step with formation of one species with million of years against the both the axis so this is the uh, uh, here you can see the formation of number of species uh, in number uh, several million years so each step present one species so when you are uh, when you, we compared between these two group of snakes so particularly the pit vipers and vine snakes we found that pit vipers are, are not speciating much they are very slow in species rate of speciation so basically they are not uh, speciation is happening very slowly but vine snakes are very clever they are speciating very quickly and they are dispersing to the different region very very quickly and they are adapting to the different region they colonizing to the different location where food source is different 
because when number of species formation happen because of the partition partition is the competition for the single food suppose we want to banana and simple this one banana but uh, nobody wants mangoes so what happens uh, when we and simple is fight for uh, banana and we one day will fed up with uh, oh, let the let the simple is eat everything so what we will do we will go and eat all the mangoes so if we expanded our list particularly we explored the different dishes so we started eating mangoes as well as bananas we expanded so suppose banana is present in western ghats but mangoes are present in the peninsula in india and all the central india then we slowly colonized to that region slowly moved to the african and we become different species from there and we may especially to give rise to different species on the basis of resource availability so again somebody will come and compete for uh, ban- uh, mangoes now we have to look for other fruits and we have to compete for uh, we have to separate separate uh, separate from the group and we become different species so species on red happens very slowly uh, in everywhere and uh, uh, so it takes time in different places also so western ghat has giving like uh, in the uh, giving the high species on red for the white pets while we the hyper cells low in the species of red so this right plot is showing the positive uh, species on red for the white uh, snake this is a right side plot so mostly white snakes are it is positive and the same plot i found it is negative for the pit viper because they are not specifying very well they are not doing well they are like lazy fellows yeah, if you look have you looked look, look uh, have you ever seen the pit vipers in the field or anywhere any where if you have seen they are very lazy they don't go anywhere they are only sitting in one place but uh, bind snakes are many of bind snakes are very uh, agile they will run from but pit vipers are very very lazy they will be sitting in one place for long long time uh, don't ask about the malabar pit vipers they stay for three months in one place they don't go for hunting nothing they will be uh, waiting for the species to come. some other place species to come and eat them like that so to provide them food or something so they are very slow in uh, everywhere so they don't uh, they don't compete for each other also. so they are like they don't uh, specify very quickly uh, uh, so this is the problem in the last slide and uh, uh, next slide next next so i i because this uh, this talk is going to be very lengthy so i kept it very short there are lots of information lots of things i have those who wants to uh, know about this thing they can come to me i can tell you lots of things about that uh, how things goes so in my summary what i told that how how the species and division division occur in the western ghats and how they are distributed in western ghats and how they are separated how, how their ecology separated them how the how they are staying in different different places all species cannot stay together they 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 are they partition their niche they partition their resources so they, they are distributed in different places also they are not only distributed by their choice also it is they are distributed by the geography and natural activities like past historical events like volcanic activity activities formation of barriers uh, rivers or formation of the mountain gaps and everything so they are separated by like that so what is uh, what is what is recent work uh, research work i was talking about that many people are doing many things uh, like um, those some people are understanding why what is happening in snakes their biology the true biology why some people are understanding behavior why snakes are behaving like such a way and some people are working on uh, different things like venom evolution and everything so many places people under try to understand why a single species having different kind of venom why why snake uh, snake bite wh- wh- why this anti venom uh, d- does not work for everywhere so it it depends on the different uh, kind of habitat and geographical races and like everything so there are like future works i have like i i may do that those works in future i try to understand that i have the reason and I, i try to understand how the species are uh, limited to the particular areas how the distribution range of birds and everything so there are many things are, are there next slide please so uh, i um, for this work i took lots of time and uh, there are lots of people involved lots of things involved with me so uh, 
i never i always uh, think of technology uh, people who was who are involved in this research and this project and everything so basically my supervisor phd supervisor of kartik sankar who is uh, who is generally supporting him now so there are many people like anita malatra from with whom i did the pinbhai award and dr sar sk dr sushil kumar gupta is a retired professor who is also uh, was also my mpil guide so he inspired me to come to this field basically i because of his inspiration i am in this field and he keeps in, inspiring me till today and there are like my colleagues and all who always supported i worked in field with forest cards and all so i always uh, thank them and i work with many forest departments in, in india so i took permission from all the different departments and i work with and so i have like other funding agency without without money you cannot do anything so you have to find all the funding agencies and thing so you can do uh, lots of work and so so i got many funding from different agencies uh, from different places next slide please uh so this is the end of topic uh, thank you all uh, for uh, patience listening listening my talk and sorry for disturbance because i i could not uh, prepare uh, uh, the slide immediately and i have uh, some error happened here so i could not save so i prepared a little bit and took, took time to uh, present and all so those who can want to uh, just want to uh, uh, share some thoughts or want to ask some question or want to work with me in the future i don't have a lawyer right now. but uh, if you want to work in the future they can email me or can go through my uh, uh, website and you can contact me thank you all Thank you, Bharat. Any questions? Is there any question? no questions yeah somebody asked uh, uh, i just read and uh, uh, reply yeah. yeah does out of out of india hypothesis stands true in case of naja genus yeah right right yeah uh, who is who is this asking uh, no i i don't he is uh, manoj kumar no? so basically the raja uh, uh, out of india hypothesis is not working probably so this nazas are distributed in the uh, african region so the naja the naja naja and naja kotia and all the species we found here are sister to the spitting cobra in south east asia sorry sorry in uh, africa mostly so uh, i think i have not seen any biogeography paper but there are some biogeography paper so it is uh, it is said that almost 16 million years back they got separated uh, maybe the, because of the y variants means uh, land cell because of the land uh, separation so i don't know what is happening i exactly have not uh, seen what is happening because i don't work on this too so i i, I don't know problem uh, next question what uh, what is the what is the okay then uh, from manoj kumar only what is the possibility of Uh, cryptic and sister species in naja genus with respect to vindyachal uh, and sahyadri i have not about, don't have much idea but probably there are there will be some uh, genetic split uh, between the two if it, if they are ecologically not similar they are uh, not sharing the same ecology then probably uh, it is not similar so they, uh, they there will be some genetic difference and morpho- if morphological similarity is there and there are you have some level of genetic differences there then probably that is also new species you know, never know so and so you are asking what the what what's uh, bptp uh, in taxon okay BPTP so basically bptp is a, uh, it's, it is called poisson tree processes basian poisson tree processes so this is a basian analysis where it considers the 
mutation in the sequences genetic sequence so it from it, it considers the mutation and uh, branch length it considers the branch length and it provides the it predicts the number of species mutated to species means uh, uh, how many species are present in the tree it will give you a, a value some uh, some uh, uh some value for uh, support for particular species that is called uh, you can say posterior probability value or something so if it, it give it gives you more than 70% 60% and uh, it shows you that this is a valid species you but you always you don't have, have to uh, rely on that uh, analysis always because uh, it gives you error sometimes so but it predicts 99% in uh, almost most of the time so you have to evaluate the species according to the other axis like geography morphology or genetic data or maybe other option you can use to separate but people use uh, in case of birds in case of frogs people use the voice in case of cricket people use the no that noise they call okay so the, so the, that is a, so the, we don't always rely on the bpt uh, we rely on other axis so we use other formulas on bpt okay Okay. okay there is another question from riju uh, for nature the wine snakes like you mentioned being semi venomous and not affect humans is the venom a type of uh, neurotoxin no, no or hemotoxin I, i have no idea about them uh, because of nobody i never told found anywhere but they are they are considered to be semi venomous snakes basically okay there is a question from rashmi mb what is the composition of anti venom ah, so anti venom is mostly antibodies just now your corona situation is going on so it is very easy to understand so when when snake bites you uh, basically basically when snake bites you uh, you develop the antibody slowly but uh, you die because uh, antibodies it develops slowly it creates <coughs> it is created inside the body very very slowly so you die so antibodies are like antibody formation happen inside your body okay so now what we do in the anti venom we we re remove the blood of the animal from where we uh, prepare the anti venom we we remove the blood of the animal after it give some dose of uh, uh, poison okay this anti venom so it will develop the uh, serum inside antibodies inside then you remove the serum and you separate the blood other contents and you keep the serum so that serum itself contain the antibodies so when someone is getting bitten by the snake then you just inject that antibodies uh, with that within the serum not through the intra uh, not in the intravenous it is like uh, sorry not in the muscular it is intravenous so you have to use the uh, saline system to inject antibodies so so antibodies is go to go to your blood system and it will slowly help you uh, 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 what what is said depending the antigen present in the snake poison so anti anti venom is basically anti venom is a basically serum where the antibodies are present and it is developed in our system that is the system immune system or immune system force basically yeah, any, any uh, other questions i think there are uh, no more questions uh, yeah i think uh, participants if you have any questions please uh, uh, post it in comment box yeah so we will wait for a minute so if there are no more questions then we will we can come close uh, so yeah. just a minute we will wait for it so. yeah i think no 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 more questions so okay. who wants to uh, if uh, there if there are no more questions then uh, i will uh, thank uh, ashok sir uh, deepthi you can thank uh, you uh, deepthi has come yeah. yeah deepthi can also thank <laughs> deepthi your voice not, is not voice is not audible not audible now yeah, yeah now it's fine hello yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i would like to uh, uh, extend my uh, uh, 
gratitude to Ashok Kumar Malik sir for uh, uh, coming you. for this and uh, uh, delivering a very wonderful uh, uh, you know, talk about the snakes and their distribution and different kinds of snakes. And you explained about boring snake and then uh, lazy snakes and all. I hope, I hope all the participants are uh, uh, have been benefited yeah. by this uh, webinar. And uh, thank you all the participants for participating in this uh, uh, webinar. So I think there is one one question. I maybe yeah. can answer that. How is agriculture practice affecting snakes of Western Ghats? Uh, uh, not much. Uh, most of the places like coffee gardens everywhere, I see homnoz feed vipers and malabar feed vipers. Uh, I don't know whether they, they spray lots of chemicals in the coffee garden. Probably the snakes may be not staying there, but most of the places I've seen the vipers there. There will be a little bit, uh, not that much of disturbance. There will be a little bit of uh, disturbance because coffee is part of the jungle then. So this uh, plantation and everything happens there. So it will be a little bit uh, problem, but I don't think it, it will be a major problem there. So not much, not much. And there are like um, terrestrial snakes like the Hompron Speed. Yeah, Hompron Speed Viper has it. They may uh, face problem in many places because they are the terrestrial. And they like to fly and you know, stay on the leaf litters. So most of the coffee gardeners they clean the leaf litters from the ground areas to clean the coffee when harvesting. So probably that will be the reason. And uh, uh, if you look at the tea gardens, uh, tea gardens, uh, this uh, people kill the, these uh, large scale pit vipers in tea gardens. Uh, but uh, uh, many places they get bitten by the, this Lascal pit vipers, Malabar pit vipers, Hamnod pit vipers, and so they get, get bitten in many places. But one thing is good that none of them are that not not that much of venomous that they can kill a human being. So that's the reason they know that they, uh, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, something like that they say in Canada. No? Uh, so this is not an important uh, snake. This is not a very important not very venomous snake. They just let it go. They don't kill most of the time. Uh, so it is not a big threat. But many places in all over India, even they see the rat snake also be killed. Uh, so at least I have not seen that people killing rat snakes in many parts of the southern India. In at least in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, or in uh, uh, Kerala, where I stayed, many people, less people uh, kill uh, this those snakes. That's the important thing. People should understand that. Uh, uh, those snakes are the part of our life uh, ecosystem because uh, if you kill a rat snake, it uh, it uh, you, you are just uh, helping another two hundred rats to survive for another years. So every every rat snake they eat at least two hundred uh, rats everywhere every year. So just think about it. when you are killing one rat uh, a rat snake, then you are just uh, letting other rats to grow more and more. And you know how rats are breeding, they breed uh, as much three, within the three months interval and lots of litters they breed. So they will grow like they will grow fast. So snakes are very important to uh, conserve some of the party field areas and all of places. I also, uh, many snakes like, uh, uh, this, uh, many, many, many snakes, they, they, they like the human habitat because of the one uh, condition, we always have light and allergy of fire and everything. So they like human habitat and everything. So this is one of the things where snakes like to survive. So most of the time, if you want to stay away from snakes, just clean your house. Uh, don't allow rats. Don't allow frogs. And let the snakes happily enjoy their life in other place. And let you be the same. So that's the only reason you can survive in one place. Actually. And and for agriculture, people should do, should understand the ecology of the snakes. They should be careful in the field and all. So none of the snakes they come and bite you. They, they are just uh, they're snakes. If you hurt them, they will bite you. That's the reason. That's all. I think I think Thank that you. has answered uh, Nidhi's uh, yes. question, and uh, yeah. this your talk will uh, inspire many young minds to take up uh, research on uh, snakes. Uh, thank you yeah. very much for uh, delivering this talk, and uh, thank, thank you, you all the participants. Yeah, thank you, Bharat. Thank you, thank you yeah. so much. Sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.